What's up guys? Back in the garage today. Uh, working on the go-kart again. Since the last video, uh, we did the shifter and all that stuff. Today I'm going to work on the last motor mount and then maybe the fuel system. I got the chain cut already to size. I got it pretty tight and I'm just going to make that last motor mount. So this is what we're thinking over here. We'll put this bar in across. It's pretty sturdy. And what we're going to do is... I cut this piece, so basically I'm going to cut this out of flat stock, and it goes right just like that. The same thing on this side, it's pretty much the same piece. I'm going to go just like that, and then I'm going to run a bracket from here to here, and then same thing on this side from here to here, and that will bolt in this motor mount here and this motor mount here to this back brace so that should hold it up and uh once i get that done then technically i could fire her up uh the chain's pretty i mean it's got a little bit of play in it but nothing too i think it'll be fine so that's the plan. We're going to get that going. Let's see what we got over here. I cut these up. Now I got to just kind of fit them a little better. That's kind of how the motor mount's going to go. And I think instead of attaching it to here, I think I'm going to go and attach it to these bolts down here instead and get rid of these, this piece and that piece on each side. Try to lose a little bit of weight. Uh, I think that's what the plan is. Let's get to it. All right, well, we got uh, some of the brackets done. This is the left. This is the right. I think they came out all right. Now I just got to make the bottom side of the brackets and then bend some stuff up and then weld them both together. And the motor mount will finally be done. <laughs> Alright guys, a little update on what we got going on here. I got this side pretty much all fabbed up. It's uh, basically bolted here, bolted there, and then I have another piece that's bolted here. And it's going right to this mount here on the frame. And this side, it pretty much lines up perfect. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to basically kind of cut this so it matches up with this and then I'm just going to end up welding this to this and calling it a day. And uh, the motor mount and everything will be dead, done. Then all I got to do is work on the fuel, get a throttle cable set up, and JJ going to have a problem on his hands because this baby going to be ready. Hey guys, so I'm going to work on this exhaust while I'm waiting for some parts for this thing. Waiting on a new throttle cable, the fuel lines, the pulse pump and all that stuff. So I'm going to work on this exhaust, what we got going on. As you can see, this thing is cracked and bent. And, uh, well, it's eating up a lot of horsepower, I think. So, my goal is... I'm going to cut it here, then I'm going to cut it here, I'm going to sweep this end, I'm going to sweep it down like this, and then I'm going to probably cut it somewhere in here, and bring the exhaust so it kind of comes out and out this way by the back tire. That's my plan. We'll see if it actually works. <laughs> so uh, let's get to it. All right, well... <laughs> I did something a little different than what I was going to do with the exhaust, but uh, check it out. So, basically just went with a little shorty right off into the muffler. And that's all I'm going to run. I think I'll be fine. I mean, I see a lot of these people running these motors with no muffler whatsoever. <clears throat> so, 
Hey, I think it'll be good. What's going on, guys? So, I got the fuel system all set and done. You guys want to take a look? Got a nice little tank. We got it coming up in, down into there. And then it runs underneath the seat coming up. This is my return feed vacuum. But, uh, it's getting there. I'm having a problem trying to start her though. I don't know what the hell's going on. It farts. It will uh, run real quick and it shuts off. Uh, I think I'm going to take the carb apart, maybe clean it real quick. Thing has been sitting for about a year, but it didn't have any fuel in it. So, what's up, guys? Outside. Gonna be the first made voyage on her. Well, let's see how she runs. Let's get it. So as I'm riding, I keep banging uh, rev limiter, um, shifting just way too fast to the thing. We got to change that. And then also the problem I'm having is as I'm um, riding, I have a pair of vice grips holding the fuel line, the return, so I can keep constant pressure. So I have to add a valve or something in there to keep the constant pressure, either that or it runs out of fuel. But uh, other than that, running all right. What's up guys? Took her for a test drive. Shifter let go on me. The uh, bolt for the arm fell out. So when I went to shift, it just skipped. Uh, I fixed that already. I put a longer bolt in it. And I put a nut and lock washer on it so that doesn't happen again. And then I came to the realization that this sprocket, I need to change. It's just... The gears come way too quick. I can't let the thing... I mean, it doesn't really go fast at all. It's more torque than anything. So, I had this on the drift trike. 
This is a 22, 24 tooth sprocket. And what's on there now is a 48. So I'm going to put this 22 on here. And uh, that should give us some speed. And JJ did the same thing on his already because he noticed that his was too talky too for the race. So he already changed the sprocket out to a smaller one. So he was ahead of the curve on me on that. But we're going to get that done now. All right, guys. So sprocket did not fit. Uh, that sprocket is a little bigger, so the axle on this go-kart is thinner than the axle that was on the drift trike. And the problem I think I'm having is this thing is a European-style go-kart, so a lot of the stuff is different. Like, even the hubs. Uh, I went to put the, my other go-kart wheels on this one. They're both uh, three-lug, but the American is a wider lug pattern where these are a smaller lug pattern so i don't know it's got a bunch of little different things but so it's probably gonna take me a couple days to try and source a uh sprocket for this thing but we'll get it done till then she'll sit for a little bit and uh then she'll be getting ready to uh give jj a little ass waxing so we'll see how it goes